What's up guys, Rob here with RJ Gaming, coming at you with another video here on my YouTube channel. Today's a little bit different of a video. We're going to do a little bit of uh, auto detailing. This is uh, a new 2015 Toyota Tundra TRD. Um, this is something I just bought about a week ago now, not quite a week ago. And um, beautiful truck, I love it. I'm going to do a full review. Um, on my thoughts of the truck inside and out um, in another video but this video we're going to focus on something called the ammo paint regimen okay you have to excuse my friends in the background I have some buddies over here I'm out here on the side of my house my fiance and I just got some ducks and chickens a little while ago so they may be uh, commenting in the background which is uh fun i've got some friends out here with me helping me out but um it's the ammo paint regimen and ammo is a company in new york city um that uh basically makes uh, vehicle detailing products and they are some of the best detailing products i've ever used in my life and um i wanted to take you through this paint regimen and basically the theory in ammo's you know the creator larry he's the owner um, of the company he basically said paint is like skin and you want to build up your paint you don't want to break it down so you know paint has pores just like our skin does and you want to be able to get in and fill those pores with different layers of protection and so his products are designed around creating those layers and um, basically keeping the vehicle's paint as safe and protected as possible from the elements so i have not detailed this truck at all um, I did just buy it last week. I drove it in the rain a couple times. So it does have, you know, some dust, some spots kind of like this. But you're not really going to be able to tell a humongous, I mean, you'll be able to see a difference. But, you know, I'm going to do just one panel of the truck. So we're going to take this. This is the right uh, rear quarter panel. And we're going to just do this area. So just this one quarter panel. And I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what we're going to do. So these are the ammo products in the lineup that we have for today for the paint regimen. Um, there's an extra one in there that's not really counted as a paint regimen, but I use it because we live up in upstate New York and get hammered with salt constantly. This is my little detailing bag. I've got pretty much every ammo product that you can buy in here. Um, just got a very large order in yesterday, and I've got all my microfiber towels and you know, my hoseless pump and all my sprayers <clears throat> got a couple of top coat products in here as well but mostly i i use ammo now pretty much um, exclusively but this is the paint regimen we're gonna walk through it so the first one we have here is this foam paint cleanser it's basically uh, a wash a regular car wash but larry says it's not really what's um in it it's what's not in it he removed all of the uh damaging chemicals and things of that nature so that it wouldn't um, break down the layers of protection that you're putting on the vehicle. So, you know, you do all this work to get your vehicle protected. The last thing you want to do is use a soap that has a bunch of chemicals in it that are hard and, you know, hard on the stuff that you're using. You're kind of just taking like one step forward, two steps back, and it just doesn't help me. So this is just a nice, clean foam paint cleanser. The foam actually lifts the dirt into the foam, and then you wipe it away with a nice microfiber towel um and it works really well so that's the foam paint cleanser we're gonna add a little bit of this is called boost winter wash so i'm gonna add this this basically helps with salt and with um you know when you they hammer the roads with all this this calcium shit you know and and all that nasty stuff it helps your paint kind of reflect some of the uh the salt and keeps it from creating um rust basically and then we have one of my favorites hydrate paint moisturizer this stuff is used in the drying process and i'll show you guys how well this stuff works it basically uh makes the paint a little bit hydrophobic so when you put water on it it sort of like washes away and it moisturizes you know just like in the name moisturizes the paint so it's almost like the paint's lotion so this is used in the drying process every time you wash the vehicle to help um you know basically re-lotion just like with your hands they get dry you put lotion on them they get dry you put lotion on them it's the same thing your paint gets dry you use hydrate 
This is skin defense seal. This stuff is amazing. This is polymer. He said it's a polymer. It's a sticky polymer substance that he uses and it basically wraps your paint in this skin, which is amazing. He said it actually gets hard and um, protects the paint. It's almost like the paint's armor and it also has UV protection in it as well. So it's kind of nice for vehicles that sit outside. Like I don't keep my vehicle in my garage. So UV protection is important. Then we have the spit UV inhibitor. This is uh, basically like a quick, a quick, um, if you don't have access to a hose, you know, you're out and you wanna just kind of touch up one spot of your vehicle. This is something you can spray on um, and wipe it off basically. And it works, I've used it before, it works incredibly well. You know, the best way to wash your vehicle is to use a hose with water, that's the best lubricant. But when you don't have access to water, this is the next best thing. Um, so great to keep, like Larry says in his videos, you know, in the back of your truck or in your motorcycle or whatever you're using, UTV, ATV, um, it's great on pretty much everything. It can be used on glass, paint, all kinds of good stuff, chrome, wheels, so uh, that's pretty neat stuff. But we're going to start down here, so let's grab, I'm going to try to do this one hand jump. <laughs> I'm recording with my phone. I have a GoPro, but I really didn't want to dick around with it to do this video. I just wanted to sort of show you guys how this worked. So what he recommends, I'm going to do first, first rinse out our, I've got a water bucket for rinse and I've got a bucket for and What he recommends is with the so what you want to do is put one shot in the bucket like that then grab a microfiber towel this is my I don't want something soft it's not going to scratch your paint one shot in the microfiber towel or in the uh, I'm sorry the wash mitt microfiber towel so one shot inside of it and then one shot outside of it that's it for your soap. Then, come back over here. Grab our Boost Winter Wash. This, you only need a shot or two. It kind of just helps. Like I said, it helps the formula with corrosion. So I'll just add a couple shots right on the wash mitt there. And we'll add another one just for good measure. I really like that Boost. And then, with our water. As you can see, it gets nice and foamy. Suds. That's part of what makes this formula so good is that it <clears throat> creates a lubricant and it pulls that dirt away from the paint. So as you're wiping, it's not actually going across the paint, it's lifting it up into your microfiber towels and your wash mats, pulling it away. So, almost done here. I was going to do this in kind of the before I started the video, but I wanted to show you guys how well this suds in the buckets. Really foamy. Fill it right up to the top. I just love these formulas. They're really, really, really well done. Larry's done a beautiful job. So like I said, we got our two two buckets. So you rinse in this one, dunk in that one to so to suds up, back to the truck, wipe. So we'll do, like I guess we're just gonna do the quarter panel for the video, and then I'm actually gonna do the entire truck after the video. So let's grab our wash mat. What I'm gonna do is make sure that it's moved around good. I'm just gonna rinse the panel real quick. Get it nice and lubricated with water. So, the paint on this truck is in absolute beautiful condition because the person who had it before me took a wonderful care of it. So I'm gonna continue to take wonderful care of it. Yeah, 
that's it's really in good shape. You can't beat that. And I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna really focus in on this part now. So it's pretty well lubricated there. So let's grab our wash mitt. And what Larry recommends, okay. just grab your mitt. And instead of, you don't wash in circles. I think people naturally tend to try to wash in circles. So you can see nice sudsy wash mitt. We're gonna start up here on the corner, right? We're gonna work our way across. See how I'm going across in a line? Across. And as you're going across, he recommends sort of lifting the mitt a little bit to try to pull the dirt away. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, across. Nice, you sort of just mark where you were with the, the net before, you know? And go nice lines, get all up underneath. I try to really get everywhere with my soap all across here. I really try to focus, like, you know, sometimes you gotta go up and down, but really what he's trying to prevent is swirling. So I'm gonna go back, rinse. I kind of shake this off just in case there's any dirt or what have you and then back in the suds back over to the panel there we go Like I said, I really try to get in everywhere okay, where we live. And plus, you know, you want all the paint to be protected, not just what you can see. And right across the top, we'll just do a nice run. Okay, that's pretty good there. Now what I want to do, rinse this off, put our mitt in the rinse bin for now. This stuff smells amazing too. It smells really good. So from the top to the bottom, side to side. Make sure it's all off, so you know, give it a couple of shots. My new hose has a little less pressure, but it actually is nice because it's less uh, paint, you know, less pressure on the paint, so it's a nice gentle rinse. Just kind of what I'm going for here. Okay. I noticed there is one spot on the paint right there. But I think that's actually a chip. It might be like a glue or what have you, but I think it might actually be a little bit of a chip, which is okay. You know, you're gonna have that like where we live. Sometimes these small rocks will get in there um, and grab the paint a little, but it's a tiny little guy. So I might have to get some touch up for that. But yeah, it rinses right off. It's looking beautiful. We'll try to compare it to the door that's not done. It's very hard to tell here, but you can sort of see. Here's our un, kind of unfinished door, what the paint would look like right there in the front. So this is sort of up front. And then we'll kind of pan over to the back. You can see the difference already. It's gorgeous. It's looking glossy already. Well, I'm not in direct sunlight, but that's what you want. You don't want to be in direct sunlight when you're doing this kind of stuff, because it can really affect the chemicals that you're using. So I picked this spot because it sort of guards me from the sun with the trees up behind me over there. Just a little bit. So, okay, so there's the first step done. Now what we gotta do is grab ourselves a microfiber towel. 
This is one of the coolest parts. So I gotta fold this real quick. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second. You wanna fold it into quarters. And what you wanna do, a lot of people don't realize microfiber. This is just an actual cheap microfiber towel. Microfiber actually works better when it's damp. So I'm gonna dampen this. Okay. So what I did is I just put some water into it. Just you wanna bring that in so that it's just damp, right? So this is a nice damp microfiber. Put you guys down again. Actually, you can see right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this into a quarter. You want to use each side, okay, like that. So we're going to actually spray hydrate. Here's our hydrate. You want to do two sprays. So we'll put it on. You can do streamer spray. I like spray. You want two sprays. So you're on here, one spray, two sprays, just like that. You don't want to waste it. And this stuff, again, it's almost like a lotion. You can see it. See, it's almost like a blue. It's the same color as the uh, microfiber. I probably should have grabbed a different one to show you guys what it looks like. But what you want to do with this stuff, now that it's on here, start up at the top, okay? And you want to come across, and you want to just, kind of like we were washing, just straight across, you know? Straight across. With that, that side of the hydrate facing up. That's all I'm doing, it's just working my way across. Once you feel it start to get kind of wet, you want to bring it out. And what I do is I'll do a few passes, I'll go back, and then I'll rehydrate. So I'll spray, spray. working really well. Beautiful. See, so I'm just going across, going across. Microfibers actually pick up more moisture when they're when they're damp. Thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wring it out, feel it getting kind of kind of damp. Okay. This has actually stayed pretty clean too, so wring it out. Okay, apply a little more. Now, unless the side that you're starting with gets soiled, you don't really want to be switching sides unless it's soiled because that way you're building up that hydrate. So I'm just going to run over quick one more time over the entire surface with hydrate. The stuff is just so easy to use that you want to keep, <laughs> you want to keep going at it with it. Like I said, just a back and forth, getting it all over the paint. And it is safe for um, chrome, headlights, taillights, all that kind of stuff. And these are cheaper microfibers. If you use, the better the microfiber towel is, the more it's going to actually soak up and it'll take you less passes. So that's kind of an advantage to better towels. But 
These work just fine. You just have to make sure that you're doing enough passes, that's all. Okay, I'd say that panel is pretty well hydrated. Now what's nice, the weather's pretty much perfect for this. So, you guys can kind of see now. Look at that hydrate. Look what it does to me. It really starts to bring out that nice shine. You can almost see the reflection now of the trailer. And just That's just hydrate. That's not even skin defense. So we'll go back over here. Untreated. So, you know, a little bit darker. Still looks good. The paint's still good quality, but then you come over here and it really just has that nice shine to it. So we're going to take our towel with hydrate, set it to the side because we don't want to be accidentally grabbing it to reuse it. Now, here's the important, another important step in our next step, skin defense seal. What we're going to do here, grab, now you're supposed to use a, an applicator sponge. Now I have one of these little guys that you could use in the kitchen. These work okay because the soft side won't scratch the vehicle. Obviously you don't want to use the abrasive side or you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. But you just need something that's not going to reabsorb the, the skin defense and apply it. So we're going to put it on this little guy. So we're just going to make sure that it's, I mean, it's already damp, you know, so it's nice and soft. You want it to be nice and soft, no dirt, no grime. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put you guys back over here, facing the truck, and I'll try to show you. Sorry again, I'm doing this on my phone. I just works a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, here's our little applicator. You're going to make like an X. If I can get it to, there we go. Across there and across there. Like that. So you're going to make like an X pattern and then you're going to take it and you're going to squeeze the applicator together. It's going to kind of soak up the skin defense. You're going to get it all over yourself, and that's totally just going to happen. All right. Just use a... Okay. So there's that. All right. I'm going to take this side of it. And just like we've been doing all along, start up here in the corner. I'm going to have to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing here. You want to wrap the vehicle. Just kind of go all over it with it. You can kind of see it being applied. Side to side. No swirls. Now some of my pores on my sponge fill up with it, so you have to kind of squeeze it out. I'm just applying it side to side. I'm gonna reapply onto my sponge. Again, you wanna kinda do that X shape if you can. So it covers the whole sponge. Now the foam applicator pad probably works better, but I wanted to try to use this and see how it worked and so far it's working pretty good now you want to put it on you know pretty thick you know you don't want to be chintzy with it because this is your skin defense so if it looks thin add more you know that's kind of my theory on it you know you don't want to have this thin little coat of this stuff on here so i'm going all over the truck this stuff smells amazing it smells really good Sometimes with detailing products, it's just nice to have something that actually smells nice as well. 
keep adding as we see fit. This time I'm just gonna put, I'm noticing that it, in the video it shows the X, but I'll be honest with you. Let's put it on there like this. And then just kind of, you know, get it in one spot and then move it around and get it all over. But look how it goes. See how it's kind of like in lines like that. Now the cool thing about skin defense, it can go on your taillights and chrome. So, and headlights, obviously. So, what I like about that is you can protect those as well. You know, you don't have to worry about oh shit, I got some on my on my headlight or tail light. You can protect all that with it too. So that's pretty cool. Add a little more. Almost done here guys with this part. I just want to really make sure that I'm doing this properly. Thank you. here do this light here neighbor said nice looking truck I've gotten a lot of comments on this truck so far today how you doing, man? good how are you Not too bad. all right so we got the light done You too, buddy. Thank you. And then kind of just getting everywhere in here. There we go. UPS drivers here. My fiance got me a birthday present. Her birthday's coming up. And she doesn't want me to see it, so I could I had to kind of say hi to the guy without making eye contact because I didn't want to see what he was holding. But there it is. So we are skin defensed. It actually goes on pretty easy. It's pretty, uh, it's almost like a, a thicker lotion. You can see it's down in the pores of the sponge. And uh, now all we got to do is take our microfiber towels, get a nice clean one, you know, obviously. Dry, not wet. I'm going to let that sit for a second. But, you, you know, one to three minutes, he said, you can let it kind of sit and then you can wipe off so you want to kind of polish it off so you can see there's a little bit of water left there i'm not too worried about that but we're just going to kind of back and forth you can go in circles when you're polishing this off that's okay oh my god it's so smooth it's like a baby's bottom look at that not to sound creepy or anything guys but it's just so smooth once it's coming off here you can it's kind of gritty on the you know when you're getting into it down on the thicker parts but boy once it comes off whew, that is like glass man oh my goodness beautiful First time I've used this product. I've used the hydrate, I've used the, you know the regular wash, but I've never used skin defense and this stuff is just incredible. And you'll feel it's almost interesting. It's like a, a feeling, you know, like you'll feel that it's kind of like rough and sort of harder to wipe. And then once it's gone, it's very glassy and easy. So if you get into a spot where you feel like it's gritty, just go ahead and keep Polishing it away, if you will. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. And I'm kind of still going side to side, but he said, you know, you can go ahead and just do it like you normally would do. And then you'll see it in the rag a little bit there, or in the microfiber towel. So what I'm going to do, actually, it's getting all bound up on me. I'm going to flip to a clean side. So here's my towel. Go to the cleanest right there. Nice 
things I do. Okay. Start back at the top. Work my way across. I'm just going as quick as I can for you guys. I know this video has been kind of long, but I'm trying to show you the process here and how well it works or doesn't work. It's kind of one of those <laughs> test videos to be like, let's see. You know, the wash I've used on my motorcycles, and two Harleys, my fiance's and mine. We love the wash. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I complete my collection with the regimen kit. So I actually just ordered the skin defense and the spit UV because that's all I was missing. If I complete it with that, I wonder how it'll look. And really, I mean, my brother and I were talking about this today. My brother, PJL Daily, coming at you. We were talking about this the other day about like how we are old school wax guys you know like we wax and we love waxing and wax feels good and gives you that kind of feeling of protection and you need a product in a way to feel how do i say this without sounding stupid you need a product to feel like you believe in it does that make sense so you need a product to you know when your truck is getting hammered with snow rain salt everything like that you need something to be like my my truck is protected my car is protected i feel good knowing that this product is protecting my vehicle you need that and with wax that's what you do wash you know the vehicle wax it once or twice a year and you feel like the wax protects your vehicle all this other stuff it's like oh i don't know is it just like people being lazy you know, wanting to do easier stuff. I don't know if this is any easier than waxing. Definitely comes off easier. And, like, goes on easier. But other than that, it's probably, the, with all the steps that are involved, it's probably about the same amount of work. All right. So I just about finished up. Like I said, you really just want to make sure you're doing a good job. Best part of skin defense, Larry was saying this, and I was watching his video just to make sure I was doing this right. You can reapply it. So... You can put it on again and again and again and keep building layers. Now, you guys ready? It's the final product. Look at that. The sun's not even out, mind you. Um, and it, I'm just blown away. This is like, I'm not being very gentle. It is like glass. Glass, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And it smells phenomenal. You know, you guys love, like, the mothers. My bro, he does that carnuba or carnuba, whatever the hell that shit is. That smell. It might not be quite as good, but damn, it's close. And even the tail light. Look at it. Like glass, you know? Look at that paint, guys. I mean... You can see me, how fat I am. <laughs> I'm working on it. But look at it. You can see my entire reflection now. That's that's me. Holy shit. I'm really, really impressed. Really impressed. Just trying to give you guys the full view here from both sides. Look at clouds, trees. It's so reflective. I'm trying to give you different angles. Let's compare it to this side. This side still doesn't look too bad, you know, pretty decent actually. But it's just, it just looks more dull. Dull would be a good way to describe it. You know, it looks good. You know, it's good quality paint, good clear coat, but it's kind of just blah, you know? And it's really not that dirty. That's actually a fairly clean panel. And then you come back here and it's like, holy shit, what happened to the truck? <laughs> Jesus. So after all that is done, basically what you're looking at is using that spit UV protect yon inhibitor to do touch-ups, you know, just touching it up here and there. That's it. Then you're washing, you know, and that's that's basically it. Now there is a test I want to do. I'm gonna have to get this truck wet again anyway. 
So kind of what I want to do, the last part of this video, real quick, I was going to try to move the truck into the sun and get you guys a better view with nice bright sun, but there's a couple of clouds and they're going to take a few minutes to move out of the way, I think. So we're going to do the last part of this video. Um, I'm going to spray water on the paint after I've treated it. Just a small amount to see how, how it looks. So you guys ready? This is the treated paint with its defense skin. Now if you look, what's happened? The water is literally hitting and running right down. And beating. There's not one strand. Versus over here. Look at the difference. So come on back up. See how it's kind of like flat? Flat, flat, flat. Okay? Flat. See it? There's no beating. It's like very flat. That's how you know that a vehicle is in need of help. <laughs> okay? I'm not even kidding. Like, if I get that spot wet right there, look at it. Just runs like in this weird, wonky, runny. Like that. See how it runs? I'm gonna repeat it. It's almost like a waterfall. The, the paint needs to be treated. Come over here. Watch. Ooh, the sun's coming up. See the beating? Completely different, completely different vehicle. And what I want to do real quick, I'm going to grab my towel, my hydrate, because that's what we're going to use to dry still, it's hydrate. I'm going to hydrate this quick I can. Let's see if I can quickly go over this for you guys. It's getting pretty wet. But... Sorry, I'm not showing you guys anything right at the moment. I'm just going to try to hydrate this real fast. Two squirts. Oh my god, the hydrate even works faster. It's not as hard to uh, dry because the water is beating and running off. So instead of it being big and retaining the water it's actually running off the vehicle and now what are we doing we're adding another layer of hydrate right another layer of hydrate i don't think i was able to catch it in time i was trying to catch the sun so you guys could see it um tell you what once the sun comes back out i will the cloud is kind of over it right now i'm gonna pull the truck over into the sun and I'll get you guys a nice, quick video of what it looks like in the sun. Just so you guys, because a lot of people are like, oh, what's it look like when it's really nice out? How's that shine, you know? But again, we're adding another layer of hydrate. We're protecting it, you know? And every time we wash the truck now, the paint cleanser is not going to break down our skin defense. It's going to build up to it. It's going to add a little layer. And then the hydrate's going to add a little layer. And what are we doing? We're layering. Look at that. Boom. Hydrate is finished. Okay. So again, not finished, finished. Like I said, guys, that's really it. So you've got your, to review, wash with this foam paint cleanser, dry with the hydrate, add boost winter wash if you want a little extra protection with the, you know, salt and corrosion. Skin defense seal, he doesn't really specify how often to do it. He said each vehicle is gonna vary, so my truck, I'll probably add it two or three times a year because it's just so easy to do. And then any touch-ups, you got your spit UV inhibitor. Touch it up. Um, if you're showing it off at a car show, you know, if you got like a classic car, 
get a little dust on the drive there. That's what that spit is for. Um, as soon as the sun comes back out, guys, I'm going to do just a quick part two to this just to show you what it looks like in the sun. I'll move it back, and I actually have to do the whole truck now. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody's time. And uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.